Hey beard brand, it's Mahesh here and today we're going to be cutting Mark's beard and hair and it's been inspired by Jeff. Inspired by what? Jeff. And then... Jeff Warren Cristiano. Okay Mark, so we talked about what you're having done today, the inspiration for it and then I think what we're going to do is we talked about giving you a little bit of a taper here and then taper back out there. You want these corners taken off, don't you? Because they're annoying you. And it, and it will change the shape of it for you. You want to retain some of this length, don't you? I'm going for more length. More length through the front. So we're going we're gonna to scoop this in, taper this down. You want to leave your hairline natural. You're growing out your moustache as well. Getting a nice big old moustache in there. Um, and then with the hair, we're going to leave the length on top. And we're just going to taper the sides in, aren't we? Just, so we're going to go with a clipper number three, I think we decided, didn't yeah, we? Very good. Just a, more of a groomed finish. Yeah, just so you look as sharp and groomed. Yeah. A, a more groomed beardsman look, yeah? Absolutely. Um, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a sales director. A sales director. So you need to, you need to look groomed and yeah, maintain smart. some uh, yeah. look. Yeah. OK, uh, you can take your glasses off and we'll get started. So we're going to start, start with the back and sides, the haircut. <laughs> And we're going, to come in at, we're going to come in at this angle here. I want to retain some of this beard length. So we're going to come in this angle here so it's in line with the beard growth. So this is the line that I'm using. This is the angle that I'm going in at. Just initially, just to see the pattern of growth. It naturally blends in a bit as well, so you can see like that, that naturally blends in straight off the bat. About working smarter, not harder. So I'm still sort of going in at the same angle as how I started off, same direction. If I was scissor cutting this, you know, I would be cutting at an angle with, with direction so that Mark's hair would sit a certain way. Cheers, mate, bye. So we're still doing that with, a, we can still do that with the clippers. Okay, so we're not gonna to go too high with Mark's hair. Bringing it down, dipping it down. You can get dry along. There's some avocados in the fridge. Is there? It should be left in the fridge, you know that. Okay, so same premise as what we do. We're going to come in at this angle. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to retain that little bit of length through the temple area here as I come in. So na this, this naturally keeps the haircut looking softer. So we're retaining a tiny little bit of that length through the temple. Helps it to sit back. Cheers, brother. So it's sitting back nicely. Not, not going too high with it, so it's not getting any hair sticking out. So I'm just tapering this area with a 1.5. Just very, very edges, just going in with 1.5, just to, to give it just a softer edge so I don't have to cut a hard line into Mark's hair. Clipper over comb, just a blending in the, uh, the number three guard to the length that's on the top that Mark already had. And if you notice what I did here is I sort of left that little bit of length through the, through the temple so it naturally just softens up that, that, that look from the front. And it just, it just helps it to lay in there. You're not gonna get anything standing out on the front here. So he's on a manopause, isn't he? Charlie's on a bit of a manopause. He keeps putting the air conditioning on even though it's not actually that cold in here. Yeah, I think he's getting hot flushes. I think that might be just from all the uh, drugs and drink. So a nice sympathetic haircut this is actually. It's nice to be, it's nice to sort of go in and be controlled about what you're doing rather than just powering through and just taper the sides in. Blend it in the sides just so it sits back really nice. I want to, I want to retain that little bit of, that little bit of weight there just because that looks nice. Having that longer length from the top so it's not long through here and then you've got nothing here. So it all blends, you can see that nice, nice blend, natural movement through the hair. Okay, let's do the, let's, let's do the beard. 
So he took an in he took, he took an he took an inhale then. Did you notice that? Wasn't bothered about the hair. No. It's the beard. He went, oh, do, let's, let's do the beard and he went. Oh. Okay, so we're just taking this little area underneath that sticks out, that protrudes on Mark's beard. So again, like with the haircut, I'm being quite mindful about how he wants to look. He wants to look like he's groomed, but we don't want to look like uh, too sharp around the edges. He wants to look it almost natural, but groomed. So it's a nice, a nice balance way of being very careful about and considerate about the beard. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a three now. So we're going to go in with a three. We're going to try and blend this in. I say try, I, mean, I am going to blend this in. What, you mean the Battle of Hastings? I did a three year apprenticeship, yeah. That's what that, that's why I know everything, mate. Eight weeks, mate. Uh, how well can you see without your glasses, Mark? Uh, I can see that someone stood behind me. Okay. <laughs> Just like a ghost like figure. <laughs> I know I know what I'm like, so I know that I know that probably very similar. Okay, so I'm being really sort of cautious about how much we take off here. So you can see that you haven't got that sticking out at the moment. We're taking that away, rounded it off underneath. I just tapered this in a little bit. Now I can taper this in a little bit more if you prefer, or do you think that that's enough off? I think that's probably enough off. Because I want it to look natural. So I don't want it to look like it's really, really contoured and really sort of. Agree. Un, you know, I want it to look. I don't want it to look too structured. Yeah? Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of the length away from here so that when you dry it, it naturally just comes out. Just a little V in there. We'll do that, okay? And then I'm just going to go over your beard and I'm just going to just, there's, there's little, little, little niggly ones that we can just take off, just the ends of those off, all right? How do you know that weird fact, Craig? Uh, oh, well, it must be true then. If it's on Facebook, mate, that's, that's, where, that's where you know it's true, mate. Okay, mate. Let's put a little bit of um, utility balm in, shall we? We've got the uh, Temple Smoke one. So you can try that. Okay. So, I literally, that's not even, that's too much. Just a tip of your finger. It's like, it's like, like good advice. Only put the tip in to start with. See how it feels. And you can see that. What if I like it? Just keep on going. So you see that it goes, it goes a long way. And you can use this in your hair. You can just stick it, from, stick your hair back with it and everything. So. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, because he's got that sort of slick back haircut, so. So you can see straight away how much that's calmed that down. 
Okay, mate. How's that looking? Yeah, good. Happy? Yep, still looking. Got a soft look to it. Yeah, Maybe. still got that, sort of retain that yeah. softness, but just, it all looks a bit cleaner and a little bit sharper. Yeah, yeah I'm liking that. Yeah. Happy? Very happy. I'm going to show you the back mark. I just need a mirror. Yeah, nice. Okay, so you've got that nice taper in there. Short, but not too short. Yeah, perfect. Beardbrand is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.